हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर बी कुशवाहा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन द डिवीजन ऑफ वेटनरी क्लिनिकल कॉम्प्लेक्स एट एफ बी एस सी एंड एच स्कॉस जम्मू आर एस पुरा वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल सो कैंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन फॉर द फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन टूडे वी हैव अ केस ऑफ डायफेमेटिक हर्निया सो द काउ विच इज सीन इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव जस्ट ऑपरेटेड थ्रू द मिड लाइन इन सीजन एंड वी रिपेयर द डायफेमेटिक रेंट विच इज लोकेटेड इन द राइट हेमी डाइव फ्रॉम अंडर द डीप सेडेशन एंड द लोकल एनर्जीशिया सो इमिडिएटली आफ्टर दिस ऑपरेशन यू कुड सी द एनिमल स्टार्टेड इटिंग ऑर्डर ऑल दो देर इज ए बिग डिबेट वेदर द वी शुड ऑफर द feed immediately after operation or not so uh, as far as history of this animal is concerned so this case brought at this uh, clinic 3 uh, uh, days back with the history of uh, uh, not taking feed and fodder from the last 25 days and recurrent tympani from the same day so this uh, animal was not responding to any medicinal treatment and uh, whenever the anti bloat or any other uh, medication for the tympani is given so the tympani subside but that uh, was temporarily so then we took the radiograph but uh, from the radiograph uh, it was not conclusive that this case is of uh, diaphragmatic hernia so we performed the ultrasonography so on ultrasonography we noticed the reticular motility at the fifth intercostal space that is suggestive of the diaphragmatic so for the confirmation of the diaphragmatic hernia as well as uh, as a first line of treatment for the this ds so we performed the rheumatotomy yesterday right under the local analgesia through the left parallel number fossa and uh, then we detect the uh, rent uh, in uh, right side of the diaphragm the reticulum has uh, potential foreign body wire and uh, stone so we evacuated the rumen completely and uh, we closed the this rumenotomy site and the laparotomy site as routine and then today we perform the uh, operation for the this repair of the diaphragmatic hernia so for the treatment of the diaphragmatic hernia it is necessary that we must have the intermittent positive pressure ventilator because when we open the diaphragm or when we uh, retrieve the reticulum from the this thoracic cavity so there is a loss of the negative pressure so just to maintain the negative pressure uh, this intermittent positive pressure ventilator is must but if you don't have the intermittent positive pressure ventilator so even you can perform the surgery as we performed the, this surgery under the deep sedation uh, using xylazine butorphenol and ketamine in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3 and uh, we given the 1 ml per 100 kg body weight and the remaining uh, 3 ml uh, we poured in the 500 ml normal saline solution as a maintenance anesthesia so we uh, positioned the, this patient uh, in the semi dorsal and uh, given the incision post g fired in the mid line and then repair the diaphragmatic uh, rent uh, in lock stitch pattern using the silk and then after that then we uh, suture the peritoneum with uh, number 1 polyglactin 910 and then muscles with the silk because we don't have the enough strong suture material so we decided to repair the muscles with the silk material and then after that reinforce with the again polyglactin 910 and finally uh, skin repaired in simple uh, interface suture pattern using the nylon so this is the whole story about so uh, this uh, the progression of the case and the, the treatment protocol this is the uh, two hour after the this operation so i hope that uh, the animal will survive in case of diaphragmatic hernia death on the table is because of failure of the respiration and thereafter uh, peritonitis so if animal is survive from the this peritonitis although the in this case the peritonitis was not there but since we uh, de adhered the adhesion of the reticulum with the diaphragm and pericardium so one is small adhesion also with the pericardium so there may be chance that peritonitis may occur in later stage so as far as medicinal treatment is concerned so we put on the antibiotic and analgesic then neurobion and the fluid therapy yesterday we have given the 10 liter uh, normal saline solution and the 5 liter dextrose dns5 and today also we have given the same amount
so this is the 53rd day post operative uh, video of the same cow which has been operated for the diabetic hernia so the condition of animal uh, improved uh, a lot and uh, you could see the animal is eating properly urination defecation rumination all become normal so this uh, animal is now 5 months uh, pregnant so overall nice recovery and uh, you could see uh, now there is no marks of the incision line in the parallel lumbar fossa although the this uh, midline incision not visible in this position but owner reported that uh, that uh, line is also not visible from the distance so if the case present to the clinic at right time without complications so we can save the animal uh, by doing the such procedure under the local anesthesia so thank you for watching uh, this video and uh, if you like the video so kindly share with your friends and subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it